Hello everybody, so today I will be talking about how you can upgrade a USB 3.0 um, 20 pin connector port to a USB C port or USB C ports. So the way you could do this is by getting a um, uh, look at figure 1.2 that's a USB 3.0 internal 19 pin header to USB 3.1 slash 3.2 type C key A adapter so that adapter will enable you to use a um, USB C port on your computer so uh, most uh, motherboards have either one or two 20-pin uh, USB uh, connectors, 3.0 connectors on a motherboard, um, and a lot of them have just one USB 3.0 20-pin connector on a motherboard. So that's going to be a problem for some people. So what you can do is um, you can you can look at Figure 1.1. Uh, you can get a PCIe X1 uh, adapter for a USB 3.0 uh, connectors. So you can get two USB 3.0 20 pin connectors with this adapter. However, you can only use it when you uh, boot into your operating system. So you're not going to be able to to connect uh, USB um, flash drive and boot off of your boot uh, boot a USB uh, device from from that port. It's not going to be possible because the only way you're going to be able to use that adapter is by booting into your operating system. Because you have to install the driver for that uh, part. So that's the only disadvantage. But the advantage is you can um, connect other devices to your um, connect uh, additional ports to your computer by using that method. So you would have two extra 20 USB 3.0 connectors. So now you could, uh, if I wanted to put two five and a quarter inch um, USB uh, expansion bays on my desktop computer, I could do that, and I could uh, in a, I could have more USB ports on my uh, computer so look at figure 1.3 on the bottom so that's a USB 3.1 front panel hub for a 5.25 inch uh, panel computer expansion board so this um, thing or hub enables you to connect two USB 2.0 ports which is highlighted in the yellow and that would go into your motherboard which has um, USB 2.0 ports I mean 10 pin connector ports right you would just connect that into your motherboard with those connectors on it and also the USB 3.0 ports you could uh, connect that go look at figure 1.1 you could connect that to the PCIe um, USB 3.0 adapter and you would have um, you'd be able to use that very easily and if you have another um, 
20 USB 3.0 20 pin connector on your motherboard um, you could use you would probably use that for the front panel connectors for your motherboard that's what you would be using it for and now let's look at uh, Oh yes, um, in figure uh, 1.4, which is on the right top, that's a USB-C motherboard header. So that thing would go into the Type-C USB um, USB um, Type-C key A adapter, which is on figure 1.2. So you just connect that on there and then now you could have USB-C also on the front um, panel of your USB 3 front panel hub so you could have um, two USB 2.0's ports a uh, type C USB port and two USB 3.0 ports on your uh, computer or your 5.25 inch bay and there's another uh, type of uh, USB uh, hub which you could see all the way in the bottom right corner sorry I put figure 1.4 on there I should have put 1.5 um, that's an easy DIY fab USB 3.0 hub 5.25 inch internal front metal brush panel so that's that's kind of like the, the USB hub on figure 1.3 except except it uses a lot less cables there is also no USB 2.0 um, port or ports on there so as you can see there's only um, there's three USB 3.0 ports two USB um, charging ports so that which is uh, in the color light green and orange so those ports are not for connecting devices USB devices to your computer it's only for charging charging devices let's say you want to charge your uh, smartphone or something or you want to charge some other device you could you could use those ports the green and the orange ports USB ports to do that and the blue USB ports are USB 3.0 ports which you will be using to connect stuff into your computer like um, USB hard drives uh, USB thumb drives and other USB storage type devices whether they be uh, SSD SSDs or whatever and the type C um, port USB port um, you could uh, connect it to your uh, smartphone and you could transfer data from your smartphone or something like that and this device the EZDIY Dash Fab USB 3.0 hub has um, it requires only one USB 3.0 3.0 20-pin connector, female connector, which will go into your uh, which can go into your PCIe um, USB 3.0 adapter, or it can go into your motherboard 20-pin connector on. The USB 20 pin connect 3.0 connector on your motherboard, it could do either, and it requires one SATA power port. So, I guess that would be for the USB charging ports and also the power up the hub. No, I'm sorry, it wouldn't power up the hub, it would just be for the charging ports. So, you would just take um, a SATA power cable on your power supply and then connect it to that and that's it just requires two cables it's 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 just simple and it works unlike the other one on figure 1.3 which has a 
three cables, which would be a USB-C uh, motherboard header cable, a USB 3.0 um, 20 pin cable, and a USB 2.0 10 pin cable. So it just simplifies things, but like I said, you just don't have the USB 2.0 ports. That's the only disadvantage to it. So you could have so by doing by using these parts you could just expand the amount of ports USB ports on your computer and for some people they may want to do that okay I think that's it so thanks for watching by ace 1000ks 1975 signing out